Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
that dog there. He would have motivated them. Come on, guys. It's just a little bit of muddy, mushy. And the lake's open. That's the thing. And the creek's open. Let's go, Ducks. No, oh, I should have got Doug. This is when you need Doug. Let's go.
and the Muscovy that blew down are waiting for them. There's the two Muscovy waiting. Yeah, there they are. And we got some stragglers behind us, but these guys are smart. They're staying on the side. Well, I wouldn't say they're smart. They accidentally found the best route. <laughs> And it's not supposed to warm up very much today. Like I said, I think the high today is two. So there ain't going to be much melting action going on. But the lake's still open. And actually, it's really nice out. It would be nice for a morning rush, but I would be down there all alone. <laughs> Come on, ducks. All right, I'm going ahead here on the creek. That was dangerous walking up the center there. They've got uh, so drilled out. It's like washing, walking on, washing, walking on a, uh, a sponge. All right. So the ducks are in the water. There's a little skim ice out here, not much. Right there. Keep going, ducks. There's not, the mouth of the creek's wide open. Oh, they're getting out. It's like the, uh, the ice is like the invisible barrier, you know? Well, we got a duck train here, so we'll uh, fill the creek up here and soon they're going to bust that little piece of ice. It's a little, it's not much. I'm actually surprised that the uh, creek is open. The wind was pretty crazy, so. When the wind's bad and you're minus two, you know, it's like minus 10, so. It, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked that we actually have this much water down here. Oh, they're walking out, some of them are walking. The scoby's flying by me, I just missed that. Come on guys, keep walking. Ducks here. We're gonna one day run. A, the one day we're gonna just gonna come down here and it's gonna be over. If this weather stays like this all week, like they're saying, you know, highs of two and zero, it won't be long. We'll have uh, there'll be no water temperature left and it'll be frozen. Sorry about the bad camera, there, guys. I was I was looking up at the ducks. Trying to uh, navigate a path here, so I can get a little closer and see if that would help them get them motivated. Come on, guys! It's like wide open. Okay, those muscovies hit the water. Maybe that'll help the other uh, ducks figure it out. And actually, right where they're standing is, is water. I don't understand this.
close. There's not even, honestly, there's not even uh, four feet ice stopping the ducks from going to the water, like to the lake. Right there, that's the only ice, because there's the water. Maybe it's 10 feet of thin ice. It sounds like running water the way they're the way they're cleaning themselves here. And I can't even walk over there because of all the holes. Oh, some ducks walk by the ice. All right, they're starting to figure it out. They're figuring it out accidentally. Ah, oh, there they go. Well, if they make enough commotion here in the water, uh, their uh, waves will break the ice up. Actually, the ice is getting smaller already. I'm seeing it's getting broken. Here, I'll, I'll adjust the viewfinder, guys. Yeah, the ice is getting small. Actually, it looks like it's almost gone. Yeah, there they go. Okay, well, they're too late now. I'm gonna go have my coffee because, like I said, I slept in today. Yeah, they're going out. Actually, let's go down to the dock uh, and see what they do. They're, they're going out, they're heading, so I'm going to the dock. All right, the uh, Brant geese are, uh, I guess these are the females. And they're, uh, oh, Moe's talking to them. I wonder how long they're going to stay. What's really strange about today, there's no frost on anything. Like the deck is absolutely dry as a bone. Um, it's a really dry cold. So, oh, we've had something here. Here, I'll show you. It, and it just happened too. Look at that. Let's see here. Oh no, it's icy. All right, something came through here. It wasn't a uh, an otter. I'm looking at the little feet. Look at that. Under a fox. All right. Oh, they can't get the ducks out in the water. There's no ice even. I'm looking here. Uh, oh, there's a little tiny bit of ice on the shoreline. Not much. You know, when I got up, uh, well, you know, I slept in, but when I got up, uh, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. I thought, what a beautiful morning. I said, it was quarter to seven. I said, jump out of bed. And then the clouds just rolled in. There must be still a whole bunch at the creek. Yeah, I can see a bunch over there. And then there's uh, two lonely ones. Well, I say not too lonely, but 
Where are you guys? Right there. They're by themselves. I can't even go in the, the boat here. Oh, the boat's full of ice, though. Oh, they're out in the water. I should have brought the thermometer down to see what the water temperature is. It's got to be around like two or three degrees Celsius. Oh, I just heard a deer hunter. Someone got a shot off. Oh, they're all hiding down there, of course, because I don't have the boat in the water, so we can't see them. I'm so glad the uh, I didn't go to minus 10. Minus 10, we would have had ice out here this morning. Uh, especially with the wind last night. There are some things blowing around the yard today, so. All right, I'm gonna go have my coffee, guys. I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I seriously need to wake up. And uh, I wanna check the uh, weed seed here and see how much they ate before I have my coffee. Well, the ducks like uh, weed seed, considering here, I'll, uh, I'll show you that this feeder, you know, it hasn't been here for months. Uh, you know, it's not all the ducks knew. They ate three quarters of it. I cannot see why they wouldn't, uh, you know, they, they forage for that stuff uh, naturally and this is a way of giving it to them in bulk, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to scoop up that uh, that tote bag as he calls it, <laughs> some tote bag, 1.75 tons, but I'll supplement, I'll mix it in with the, what they're getting now. I've only got one concern, I'm thinking about what kind of weeds am I introducing to my property. Hopefully the ducks eat everything. It's about five o'clock and the ducks are, uh, they're just getting ready to go in the pen here. What a brutal day. I've been doing jobs, uh, just getting ready for this cold snap we're gonna come in this week. I got the plumbing redone and that was a trick. I tell you, when you're one hand, uh, when you're right handed and your right hand is gimped, uh, it makes everything more difficult. Everything I've done today has taken me twice as long as it should have taken. I didn't get near done what I wanted to get done today. So the ducks are right now in holding pattern. Waiting for it to just get dark right now. They're trying to juice it as much as possible so they don't have to go in the pen, which I don't blame them. They actually took, uh, they just got back from the lake about a half an hour ago. They actually stayed until it was quite dark. I don't know if they know that it's coming to an end or... Oh, they're just starting to head in. I'll give you a shot here of these guys are anxious. Uh, the, 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 the lineup has started to move. This is it. So, no, nothing bad happened today, which is a good thing. But every job I had to do was a, was a frustrating as hell. Oh, man, it was frustrating. I, I completely forgot. Until I looked at the door and I saw Doug looking at me. You wouldn't believe what he did to me today. I'm out in the pen working away and he just disappeared. He was gone because he was, he was really good today hanging around the yard not running around like an idiot. But he was really, really dirty, really muddy, uh, covered in duck poop and mud. and Oh, it was just disgusting. I couldn't figure out where he was. And I called and I, you know, he never showed up. So I went to the garage to get some tools and I'm walking back from the garage and I look up and the house door is open. He opened the door and he was in the house and I haven't gone in to see what the damage he's done yet but he was sleeping on the couch covered in swamp mud and duck feces. So I've got to go wash my couch off now. I totally forgot about that. I was looking at, I was, he was looking at me here through the door because I washed him off and locked him in the back. And, uh, but you know, the dog, can, like, he can open the front door. Uh, he actually has done the back door too. I don't know how he does it. I have no idea how he does the back door. Front door, there's a lever. Uh, you know that he can, leave, you know, the lever he can hit it uh, with his nose. But uh, the back door, I don't know how he does it. It's a knob, and uh, somehow he manages to open it sometimes. Uh, 
Okay, it's only been about a half an hour since the, uh, the Ducks went into the pen. And I was upstairs, um, and Doug was just losing his, his marbles downstairs barking. Um, and I looked out the window, and the ducks are all huddled at this end. And while I was looking out, the electric fence dead shorted. Now, I went to the other end of the fence here. I've actually got the shotgun, so if i got to pull the trigger, it's going to hurt like a bugger. Um, but something was just here and caused the electric fence to jam up against the, uh, the, uh, the wire fence. It grounded itself out. It was actually, you could see it was hooked on it, so something stormed the uh, edge of the pen and got himself, got himself a serious shock. It was a good dead short. I watched it dead short while I looked from the bedroom window, but uh, now the ducks are all at this end of the pen. Like if you take a look here, they're all jammed up at this end. Like everybody's here. And the other end of the pen is absolutely empty. And that's where the dead short was. Actually, the dead short was down on the other side of the water. But there was something that was just here. And uh, he's, uh, or whatever it is, he, girl. Something was just here. And Doug, I couldn't figure out, like, Doug was losing it in the house, barking. And uh, I was like, okay, well, you know, why is Doug losing it? He never barks for no reason. Then uh, I look out of the window and the ducks were all at this end of the pen. Just like they are right now. And I, I've walked the pen uh, with the shotgun. And I believe I was holding on tight with my left hand and pushing it hard against my shoulder. Because if I had to pull the trigger, it was basically going to be uh, one single finger. And I don't see anything. Uh, but something was just here. Like the ducks, like... If you look, you're like, you know, they're uh, they're all at this end. Everybody's jammed up in this corner. This is a, a freaked out flock of ducks right now. And the thing, Doug wasn't even, uh, you know, he wasn't doing any running today. Nothing was causing them to uh, be excited. But these are stressed out ducks right now. Well, I got them in the pen just in time. But something's here. Oh, man, it never ends here. The duck adventure. What a, oh, man. And then, you know, the shotgun with a hand like this, I, you know, I'm just like, I'll pray, you know, I just pray that I, you know, I don't have to pull the trigger. Because uh, the pain, uh, my luck, the gun would jump and probably, uh, you know, hit the finger. I've got my big cast uh, on uh, that holds three fingers, so it'll be a little bit, it would, it would probably wouldn't be as bad. But I'm, uh, there's something definitely here. And the ducks are still uh, freaked right out. But I look out the window and I saw it dead short, so I know something, something was against the fence. Well, I'll keep my eyes open tonight again.